Hey guys, I'm Vaporeon today. It, uh, we had a delay getting out of the hotel because my tail was giving me a lot of issue. But we are here now, and I have Miranda here as Espeon, and then I've got my friends as Woo! Sylveon, Flareon, and Umbreon. Show them the tail. Oh yeah, god, that's a fucking tail. Here, I'll let you do it. Yeah. This piece. Right there. That's a fucking nightmare. I'm gonna make it shorter. Wait, because it's just too, it's too much. It's, it's too long, it drags, it's heavy. So I gotta make it shorter. All right, we're gonna head inside, so we'll see what's going on. So I'm back in my hotel room. I just had to take a break, because uh, we went and checked out the exhibit hall, and then um, Lori and Miranda are going to another concert. I, on the other hand, came back, because I'm gonna change into the dress version of Vaporeon. We had a serious issue with the tail this morning. It wouldn't stay on. It's too heavy. It's also too long. I got a little excited when I made it, I guess, but, um, so I'm not going to put it on the dress, uh, because it would require me gluing Velcro to my butt, and I don't have all my friends here, and also I just don't want to wreck the dress, because it's just such a pretty dress by itself. So I'll probably just wear that, but I'll still have, like, the neck frill and the ears. Um, I have to repair the ears right now. I've been cleaning up a little bit in the room. Um, I'm watching YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to head back out, because my friends are all there. I, I don't have a room key, though, because they all have the room keys, and I'm like... I don't, so I can't get ice from my glue. But I want to show you guys the really cool view from the from the room. It's awesome. I mean, we don't have like a very cool view. Like it's not like you know views I've had before in this hotel, but you know it's pretty neat. It's still like a cool city view. You know, I can't really. We don't um. We, my roommates don't like the windows being open, so I'm opening them while they're gone because I like openness. I don't know. I, li I like scenery. It's, it's cool. and I don't mind the sun. Um, a lot of my friends do, so like they keep the window closed and I'm like, <laughs> sad. Um, but yeah, it was really cute. My friend Kat bought me a Vaporeon plush to go with uh, my costume cuz we were all I guess gonna support like they wanted to do like plushies with the costumes and I'm like I don't really want to carry around a plushie but they bought me one and it wasn't expensive so that was cool cuz I've seen Vaporeon plushies go for like 60 bucks before and I'm like I ain't buying that um, but this one was cheaper so that was cool and it's also bigger than the one I saw years ago so that's cool um, yeah I'm uh, just taking a break I haven't really had a moment to just stop and chill this con. So, what ended up happening was, we we always come on day negative one now, which is apparently a thing, because um, we just want to get like settled in the hotel. And in the past years, or at least the past two, we'd get there on day negative one, stay the night at the hotel, and then the next morning go to day zero, get our badges, come back, wait for day one to happen. But this year we found out that day, z day negative one, they were letting people get their badges early, so we went down to the convention center and within like 10 minutes we had our badges so that was pretty cool um, and then on day zero we just kind of hung out I finished up I think I was working on papyrus um, his makeshift mask and then uh, we went to the convention center for day zero preview night which uh, I mean I don't go to a lot of panels so maybe it was like not really much for me but we thought the exhibit hall was going to be open like they'd said initially but then I guess they changed their mind so we're like oh guess not but it was still cool to go there and not that many people were there and it's like ooh fun although the line to get in if I recall was pretty pretty hectic now yesterday's line I didn't get any footage of it because as being that it's a little hard to function uh yesterday's line was insane with I think we were in it for an hour and a half to get in not to get your badges, to get in. So there's a lot of people here this year, and today it was... I don't know if it was just as bad, but they moved the shuttles to a new spot. So the people who get off the shuttles have a different entrance, and it's kind of nice. And um, we didn't have to deal with a line today, and when I left there was no line either. Hoping when I go back there isn't a line. But um, like, like I said again, it's a lot of security stuff, and I totally get that. I'm not com like complaining about that. Like I prefer them be secure. Um, it just makes me nervous for future cons because of, like, characters with weapons. Like, I don't want them to get so rulesy on it that I can't, like, make a character. And, I've, you know, there's people who have said, like, oh, some cons don't even do props. And I'm like, 
how can I, if I'm planning, like, ban at a two, how am I going to do that if I can't take guns, you know? But it, I, I understand why, but it's like, you know, it kind of, you know, it's hard to, like, do certain weapons. Like, for characters who have realistic looking guns, because at least Bayonetta's guns are like bright colors. Like, Scarborough Fair, they were like, okay, these are good, you know, because they're bright red. Fanime was even a little more strict on, like, oh, it has to have an orange tip or whatever, so they taped it, but at AX, they're like, they're red. No one cares. And the ones on your feet, you can't fire those, so it's like, you're good. Um, or if they're attached to you, I guess it's fine. But, like, if you're playing a character like Snake from Metal Gear Solid, like, his guns are all, like, realistic looking guns, so you're gonna have to really make them look fake, or a prop, you know? Um, and I remember when I did Irvine a couple years back, his gun, they had to tape the shit out of it because it was too realistic, which, yeah, it is. It's it's black, and it's got, a like, a brown wood handle, so it's, like, it very obviously looks like a gun. Um, I tried to, like, I thought I had, like, a bluish silver I was gonna paint the black instead, but it was still too realistic because it's silver. It's, it's still a gun color. So in the future, I mean... I don't plan on cosplaying Irvine anytime soon, but maybe his final weapon would be better because it's a white gun. I don't know why, that's weird, but it's like, it's, it's like a white shotgun. Which I think is a color that's okay to bring to a convention without it getting taped up, but, um, realistic looking ones are like, no. So, Bayonetta 2 should be fine because her guns are blue, um, but that's if they're still okay with people bringing props. If they're like no weapons of any kind, of any color, whatever, then I don't know how I will do that. Because that's the plan. Next AX's plan is to be Bayonetta again, but to do the second one. I also thought of a cool thing for preview night if they do that again, but I'll, I'll, I'll uh, keep that a little secret because you guys might be excited to know what that is. Um, but I also learned Papyrus isn't ready for a con. I need to fix his mask. Uh, the rest of him's fine, it's just the mask is the issue. I need something more comfortable. Um, hmm. Seen a lot of really cool cosplays. I also got to see Simon at his booth. I should have uh, filmed it, but um, we hung out with Simon for a little bit at the Curseborn Saga booth. Um, they're doing really well, so that's pretty cool. We bought the um, the newest volumes of their uh, storyline, so it's pretty cool. I'm also trying to get through the Black Butler manga because my friends are all oh I just messed up my makeup are all big on Black Butler, so I'm like really behind. So yay. Which is bad because I cosplay Black Butler characters, so I should really be uh, ahead of that, you know. In any case, I'm gonna get back to heading out here probably soon. I ate food, so I should be okay. Um, last year, I, th I feel like they didn't let food or drink in for the past two years, but now they're okay with it, so, so that's cool. Um, I wonder if it's because they're more focused on safety rather than, like, can't have food because we gotta sell you this stuff inside that's really expensive. It's like, no, we're more concerned about you guys being safe, which is good. And, you know, the people at AX have even, like, been like, we're really sorry about the line, but you guys, we want you to be safe. And it's like, we understand. So I'm gonna get back there. Hopefully I run into my friends relatively soon. I don't even know what time is it. Like, four or something. Um, and I'll probably wander around in my dress, you know. I haven't really been passing out cards because they've all been in my roller bag and I've been too busy, but um, when you're in the exhibit hall and like people are taking your photo, it's like, I, I, I'm half flattered, but we're in the exhibit hall. It's hard to do that because we're blocking the path. I don't want to linger too much, and it's like, it's the exhibit hall. I want to get through it quickly. So, yeah. But I went through the whole thing, and I probably won't be going back there except for to see Simon. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put my stuff back on and go out there. <laughs>
on the floor here. What the fuck? I, I have no idea why. But it says Magnum on it, so I have to assume I think that's a condom brand. That's lovely. Who the heck put that there? High milk tea always. Well, unless I'm being experimental. But really, I'm just mental. Hi there. Are you, are you coming over here? I have a drill! Sounds threatening, doesn't it? 